This is the story of the Podlowski families of Kent, Ohio. It begins with their founders, Antony and Franizak Podlowski, two brothers who left Poland 100 years ago and traveled to America to create new lives for themselves and their descendants. Antony Podlowski was born on August 16, 1883 in Sari, Poland, a small farming village in Poltusk County, about 50 miles north of Warsaw. His younger brother, Franizak, was born three years later, on July 25, 1886, in Sari. Their parents were Joseph Podlowski and Victoria Orlowska. Joseph was born in Sari on March 5, 1865, the third of five children and the only son of Stanislaw and Eva Podlowski. Little is known of Victoria Orlowska. She had a brother, Adam Orlovsky, who immigrated to America around 1900 and settled in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. It is believed that Joseph and Victoria Podlowski remained in Sari their entire lives. They were parishioners of the Catholic Church in nearby Obright, Poland, and had at least three children, Anthony, Franizak, and a daughter named Katerina. The Podlowski name is well established in Poland, having been recorded in the Book of Nobles since 1448. Among the earliest recorded Podlowski noblemen were Stanislaus Podlowski in 1452 and Andreas Podlowski in 1455. In 1582, King Stephen Bathory granted a parcel of land to a Podlowski nobleman as a reward for his bravery and leadership of Polish forces at the Battle of Skov in Russia. This battle ended a six-year war between Russia and the Polish-Lithuanian Kingdom and made King Bathory a hero to the Polish people. This land developed into the three villages of Pudlow, which still exist today in Syrits County in central Poland. During medieval times, families would bond together for their common defense and form herbs or clans. The ancient Podlowski family was one of 98 families which belonged to the herb known as Kasika, which means arrow in Polish. Members of the herb would fight together and all members would display the distinctive arrow on their shields during battle. The Kasika is also the name of the coat of arms shared by the Podlowski family and includes the shield with a distinctive arrow, a helmet, crown, and decorative feathers. The Kasika dates from the 14th century and is one of the oldest armorals in Poland. According to ancient family legend, there were two primary migrations of Podlowski family members from their origins in Syrits County in central Poland. The first and primary migration to the greater Warsaw area, and a second and lesser migration to the coal mining regions of southeastern Poland near the Ukrainian border. Our branch of the family is from the greater Warsaw area. On the boats and on the 
planes They're coming to America Never looking back again They're coming to America Home Anthony Podlowski initially sailed from Hamburg, Germany to New York City aboard the SS Albano. The Albano was owned and operated by the Union Line, was 380 feet long and carried 780 passengers, all third class. Following a 10-day crossing, Anthony arrived at Ellis Island with six dollars in his pocket and a railroad ticket to Newcastle, Pennsylvania, where he was to join his uncle, Adam Orlowski. Within two years, Anthony moved to Kent, Ohio, and saved enough money to purchase a second-class ticket for his younger brother, Franizak. Franizak Podlowski traveled by rail from Warsaw to Antwerp, Belgium, then sailed for America aboard the SS Kroonland, along with his friend, Anthony Manizak. The Kroonland was 600 feet long, carried 1,500 passengers, and had a top speed of 17 knots. After 10 days at sea, 19-year-old Franizak arrived at Ellis Island on May 23, 1905, with $6 and a railroad ticket to Kent, Ohio, where he would join his older brother, Anthony. For reasons unknown, Anthony Podlowski returned to Poland in 1905 and re-entered the United States on March 20, 1907, aboard the SS Finland. One theory is that Anthony may have returned to Poland in 1905 to fulfill his military obligation. At that time, Poland was part of the Russian Empire, and all men aged 21 were required to serve two years in the Russian Army. In 1905, Russia was at war with Japan. Anthony turned 21 in 1905 and would have completed his military service in 1907 when he returned to America. Once reunited, the two brothers lived next door to each other on West Elm Street in Kent for 50 years. Tony, as he was known in America, married Catherine Kaminsky in Kent in 1910. They had seven children, Anne, Stella, Alex, Steve, Helen, Stanley, and Agnes. Helen died in infancy at the age of five days. The other six children of Tony and Catherine Podlowski all married and raised families of their own. Tony, along with his brother Frank, worked for the Erie Railroad in Kent, repairing railroad cars. Tony, Frank, and several of their co-workers once laid track from the railroad yard to Tony's side yard on West Elm Street to relocate an old caboose, which was occupied by a co-worker named Bill for several years. During Prohibition, Tony made homemade wine and stored it under the floorboards in his bedroom closet. Anne Marie Podlowski, the oldest child of Tony and Catherine Podlowski, was born in Kent on March 3, 1911. She married Hank Wicklaw in June 1941, and they had two children, Beverly and Mary Ann. Stella Podlowski was the second child of Tony and Catherine Podlowski. She was born in Kent on January 18, 1913. Stella married Thomas Pizzuti in Kent on May 25, 1935, and they had two children, Barbara and Tom. Stella is 92 years old and resides in a nursing home in Carmel, Indiana. Alex Podlowski was the third child of Tony and Catherine, having been born in Kent on October 28, 1914. He had to quit school in the 10th grade to help support the family during the Great Depression. Alex married Ann Slama, in June 1940 at St. Patrick's Church in Kent and they had three children, Tom, known as Jerry, James, and Karen. Jerry was the first child born in Kent in 1941, arriving on New Year's Day. Alex was an outstanding baseball player 
and fast pitch softball player and once turned down a contract with the Chicago White Sox stating that he was too old to begin a baseball career. Steve Podlowski, known as Farmer to his family and friends, was the fourth child of Tony and Catherine. He was born in Kent on November 28, 1916. He acquired his nickname as a youngster while working on a muck farm in Kent and selling vegetables to women in the neighborhood. Steve married Vicki Miazga in 1937 and they had three children. Stephen, Don, and Doris. Steve was an avid fan of Ohio State football and the Cleveland Browns. He often played golf after mass on Sundays and was a regular at the Saturday night poker games at the KFC Hall in Kent. Stanley Podlowski, known as Shorty, was born in Kent on May 5, 1919, the sixth child of Tony and Catherine. As a youngster, he once shot his father in the buttocks with his brother's BB gun. He married Viola Rhodes in 1939, and they had one child, a daughter named Catherine. Viola still lives in Kent today. Agnes Marianne Podlowski was the seventh child of Tony and Catherine. She was born in Kent on May 4, 1922. Agnes married her high school boyfriend, Art Kerner, in 1942. Art gave Agnes a blue glass vase and a dozen red roses when he proposed to her. Agnes and Art Kerner had six children, Artie Jr., Patty, Susan, Rudy, Jeff, and Kathy. The Kerner family often vacationed near the Allegheny National Forest in western New York State, and they still own a hunting cabin in the area. Franizak Podlowski, or Frank as he was known in America, married Brunislava Sleparanka in Kent, Ohio on May 17, 1911, and they had five children. Agnes, Stefania, known as Stella, Vaklov, known as Ray, Martha, and Roman, known as Dolly. The first child, Agnes, died at the age of seven from a childhood illness. Brunislava, known as Bessie in America, was born in Sirk, Poland on January 17, 1892. She immigrated to America in 1910 through the port of Baltimore. In 1912, Frank and Bessie moved from Kent to East 83rd Street in Cleveland in a Polish neighborhood known as Proznan. They attended St. Casimir's Church where Stella and Ray were baptized. In 1915, they moved back to Kent, next door to Tony and Catherine Podlowski. Bessie died in 1950 at the age of 58, while Frank passed away in 1957 at the age of 71. Stella Podlowski was born in Cleveland on January 27, 1913. She attended St. Patrick's School and Roosevelt High School in Kent and married Cappy Juvenali in 1935. They had three children, Gary, Carol, and Nancy. Tragically, Gary died of jaundice when he was only two weeks old. Stella and Cappy were quite active in church affairs. Stella is a lifetime member of the Catholic Daughters of America and the Infant of Prague Guild. Cappy passed away in 1989, while Stella continues to reside in the family home on Burl Drive in Kent. Raymond Podlowski was born in Cleveland on January 17, 1914. While his army unit was en route from Europe to the Philippines in 1944, he married his hometown sweetheart, Margaret Luce, in Lafayette, Louisiana. Ray and Margaret had three children, Dale, Paul, known as Pinky, and Gail. In his younger days, Ray was an accomplished catcher on a fast-pitch softball team. Throughout his life, he worked as a firefighter, tree surgeon, upholsterer, and diesel operator. He collected coins, stamps, and arrowheads, which he often acquired from Amish farmers. Ray died in 2003 at the age of 89 
after suffering a major stroke 11 years earlier. Margaret resides at an assisted living home in Streetsboro, Ohio. Martha Podlowski was born in Kent on January 30, 1916. She attended Roosevelt High School and married Bill Luce in 1937. They had two children, Sandy and Bob. In 1943, the family moved to Franklin Street in Kent, where they owned and operated Luce's Grocery Store for the next 11 years. Martha was very athletic, and she has bowled several 200 games in her career. Martha, along with her sister Stella, were charter members of a woman's social group known as the Cruise Club which has continued in existence for over 50 years. Martha has a very strong spiritual life and she attends Mass daily at St. Patrick's Church in Kent. Bill Luce died in 1985 at the age of 74, while Martha continues to reside in the family home in Brimfield, Ohio. Roman Podlowski, known as Doley, was born in Kent on April 15, 1918 the youngest child of Frank and Bessie. His nickname means Little Brother in Polish. Dolly attended Roosevelt High School and joined the Civilian Conservation Corps at the age of 17, where he spent two years helping to build the Hoover Dam in Nevada. Dolly married Francis Paoni in Kent in 1942, and they had four children, Frank, Joe, Dick, and Janice. Dolly owned and operated his own service station. Every Easter, he would bake the traditional lamb cake and help color Easter eggs. In 1992, Dolly and Francis celebrated their 50th anniversary. Dolly passed away in 1993 at the age of 75. Francis resides with her son Frank and daughter-in-law Linda in Maryland. Podlowski men have a long history of military service to their country. Steve Podlowski was a member of the Army's 343rd Artillery Unit and served in Europe during World War II. He attained the rank of Sergeant and was awarded the Silver Star, Bronze Arrowhead, and a Purple Heart. He participated in the D-Day landing at Normandy. Ray Podlowski served with the Army's 361st Engineers during World War II and was advanced to the rank of Master Sergeant after only three months of basic training. He supervised 75 men in transporting heavy equipment used for building roads and bridges. His unit participated in campaigns in Europe and the Philippines and he was awarded a Bronze Star and a Purple Heart. Thomas Pizzuti, the husband of Stella Podlowski, and Art Kerner, the husband of Agnes Podlowski, both served with distinction during World War II. Art Kerner received a Purple Heart for injuries received in France in 1944. Later generations of Podlowski men and others continue the tradition of military service. Alex Podlowski's two sons, Jerry and Jimmy, both served in the Navy. Beverly Wicklaw's husband, Jerry Edwards, and Patty Kerner's husband, Bob Love, are both Vietnam veterans. Frank Podlowski was a first lieutenant in the Army in the 1960s, while his two younger brothers, Joe and Dick Podlowski, both served in the Navy. Bob Luce, the son of Martha Podlowski, was a Marine sergeant who received two Purple Hearts while fighting in Vietnam. Dale Podlowski, the son of Ray Podlowski, was an E-5 in the Army who also served in Vietnam. Christopher Love, the son of Patricia Kerner Love, currently serves in the Army and is stationed in Iraq. Lieutenant Commander John J. Podlowski, the son of Joe Podlowski, and his younger brother, Michael, both serve in the United States Navy. Janice Podlowski's son, Patrick Malone, is currently a member of the Army's Old Guard and is stationed in Washington, D.C. As we hear our family history and celebrate our Polish heritage, 
Let us be mindful of the hardships endured by our Polish ancestors. Anthony and Franizak Podlowski, along with Katherine Kaminsky and Brunislava Sleparanska, were courageous young adults who came to this country to seek a better life. They raised their families during the Great Depression and somehow found a way to persevere. We are their legacy, the manifestation of what they wanted, a better life for their children and their grandchildren. We honor their lives by celebrating our common bond. Enjoy this celebration and know that you are one of the many members of an ancient, proud, and noble family known as the Podlowski.